right. What's going on, everybody? Hey. I mean, Morning. what's going on, everybody? <laughs> Welcome back to the channel. Today, I have a special guest with me. This is Ralph. How you doing, everybody? This is one of the good ones. And today, I'm the best one, actually. He's the best one. <laughs> he's the best one. Today, we're going to work on lap pull downs. I'm going to show you. I mean, I have a video already pertaining to this, but I wanted to show how I would teach this. So I'm going to teach Ralph how to do it. And uh, feel free to obviously follow along. And uh, if you haven't hit subscribe and you feel like subscribing, go ahead and subscribe. Um, but we are set up here at the lat pull down. I'm going to show you how to set up your body for it, as well as hand placement and uh, arm path range of motion. Okay. Let's get started. Ralph, what I want you to do is I want you to get in how you would normally get in and I'll tweak your uh, I'll critique you a little bit. So here, Ralph is at a good position, but what I want him to do is make sure that this pad is flush to the legs, just like that. Now scoot in a tiny bit more, just a little bit. Now, from here, we're going to bring our chest up, okay? Now your elbows are gonna be rotated inward, other way, other way, there you go. You're gonna be pulling towards the top portion of your chest. Okay. The bar, the bar path, this cable should be going as as vertical as possible. You see how it slants it a little bit? Yep. Come in a little more. There you go. Now, bring your head back, pull down to the top part of your chest with the elbows in. There you go. Full stretch up. Now you want the full stretch up because that range of motion, that stretch is key. The eccentric motion is key to growing the lats, okay? There we go. Four, very good. Five, six, seven, eight. Now don't let your elbows flare too much. Yeah, both of them. Nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen. Give me two more. Last one. Very good. Very good. Now, where did you feel that the most? Up in my shoulder, my back. Up in the shoulder and your back. Now, okay. we don't really want to feel it in our shoulder too much. We want to feel it more in the lats. Okay. So in order to do that, let's get a little bit wider. Remember I said, bring your chest up. Shoulder, your elbows are going to be in front of your body. Okay, so. We're going to pull to the top okay. of the chest. There. You can even give it a slight lean back, but you still want to do the same thing right here. Okay? All right. We're going to try it one more time. See if we can. I can do this. It a bit. I you can got do this. it. You got this. All right, scoot in. Come back a little more. Chest up. There you go. Full stretch. Keep your shoulders down. There you go. Four. Think about putting your elbows in your pockets. Five. Six. Good. Seven. Good. Eight. Nine. Ten. Two more. Eleven. One more. Keep that chest up. And twelve. There you go. Come on. Ah, I felt that. There you go. Good, <laughs> good. Yeah, that was good more than lats, definitely. All right. Make sure you keep the elbows in front. You don't want them back this way, okay? They got to be here. And then, like I told Ralph, I like to cue, put your elbows in your pockets. It's going to keep you driving with your elbows instead of pulling with your arms. The moment you start pulling with your arms, you're going to turn on your biceps, shit, even the rear deltoids. Uh, and that's not what we want when doing a lap pull down. Another thing I cued him with was a slight lean back and make sure your chest stays up, right? That it disengages your shoulders and keeps you from doing doing this, you know what I'm saying? But that's the lap pull down, everybody. I hope you found it informational. And if I can add to this, one thing that Sean has definitely taught me is that you can do these exercises 
And when you do them alone and you don't know, see your body, what's happening, it's really difficult to get the proper form in there. Yeah. And that's one thing that I've learned is form has everything to do with it. I mean, since I've been here, I've been losing a lot of weight, building a lot of muscle. Still got some, you know, ways to go, but uh, you're doing fine. I'll put my, my trust in this man right here. Thank you. Thank you, Ralph. I really appreciate it. And like sure. you said, you're the best one. Um, and uh, and I really enjoy training Ralph. And if another thing, if you're in the floor in the, in the Tampa Bay area and you're looking for a trainer, stop on by Crunch. We, there's there's plenty of us here, but I'm I am out in the Lutz area, so come find me. Um, but I'll see you guys on the next one.